Roberta Williams was arrested today over bizarre allegations she was involved in kidnapping a producer of her proposed reality TV show. The controversial underworld widow has always managed to get attention. Lights, camera. Roberta's world, scene one, take 87. Action. Welcome to the wacky world of Roberta Williams. She's the gangland widow turned wannabe reality TV star. Get to know me before you judge me. But now this real mob wife of Melbourne may have found herself on the wrong side of the law again. And as you'll see tonight, Roberta's life is far more outrageous than the plot of any reality show. I suppose as we go on, I'll get a little bit more relaxed, but I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> it's not like you do stuff like this every day. The 50-year-old and five male associates are accused of kidnapping TV producer Ryan Nemenko, attacking him and threatening his family. What do you think she did to me? She had bashed the living out of me. Ryan, himself a convicted con man and money launderer, contacted Roberta on social media and the pair agreed to create a reality TV show they would then pitch to the networks. Here's a snippet of their work. And the average person's car would get towed away, no doubt, 100 times a day, but because it's us, it will hit the media. In exclusive messages between the pair obtained by ACA, you can see their relationship started off rosy. You still look f***ing hot, even with a swollen face. One message from Ryan to Roberta read, there's definitely a watchability about the show, huge potential for this. Ryan claimed to Roberta he was in talks with the Nine Network to air the program, which, by the way, he wasn't. Channel Nine want to speak to you about this. They'll buy the rights, another message reads. Did you lie to Roberta? I've got nothing to say to Did you, you guys. But things soured when Ryan kept over-promising and under-delivering. If I don't see any progress this week, I'm pulling out, Roberta wrote. You're not pulling out, it's my f money. How ungrateful, disgusting behaviour. Ryan wrote back. Did you take anything from me? No, I took nothing. I've got nothing to say to you guys. Investor Tracy from Tasmania was going to put $50,000 into the show, but pulled out when she discovered Ryan's criminal past. I googled his name up and saw him there under a lot of scams. His rap sheet includes a string of fraud charges. He's even been convicted of laundering money for the Russian Mafia. I uh, thought I was investing in a big hit television series, but it was all going to a con man. Tensions would soon explode when Roberta became convinced Ryan was pocketing money given to him by the show's other investors for himself. Ryan is a very silly man if you try to rip off Roberta Williams. Cut to Melbourne's Collingwood. This suburb was the backdrop of the alleged extortion and kidnapping plot which landed Roberta in handcuffs. The TV producer claims he was lured here by the underworld identity who said she was hosting a party she wanted him to attend. But instead of a celebration, it's alleged Roberta wrapped an electrical cord around Ryan's neck while her associates held a gun to his head and demanded $20,000 cash. She attacked me because she wanted money. She wanted the rights to the program. This morning, the former wife of underworld kingpin Carl Williams was arrested at her Strathmore rental property during raids. Three others were taken into custody. And this afternoon, just like that scene from her reality show preview, Roberta's BMW was towed. Only this time, the vehicle was taken away by police. Roberta's reality star ambitions aren't new. She's previously told a current affair she dreamed of being on MasterChef. Everybody says that I make the best chicken schnitzel in Australia. Right. They look terrifying. <laughs> Come on, you're fiddling. You'd be here all day. Well, I'm not as professional as you, In 2017, she told the media she was considering a tilt at federal politics. What would be your, your biggest priority if you won a seat in Parliament? The homeless. Disabled. Then there was her glamour bikini shoot for the now defunct Zoo magazine. Yeah, I'm relaxing a little more. A bit more comfortable because of the people that are here with me. 
If you think it's hard keeping up with the Kardashians, try keeping up with the Williams family. Roberta's sister, Michelle, has recently been in the headlines for allegedly stealing luggage from the baggage belts at Melbourne Airport, claims she has denied. Michelle, if you were stealing those items, what were you selling them for? Why would I do that? And Roberta's 18-year-old daughter, Dakota, has gained social media fame thanks to her colourful Instagram account. Even I've had the dubious honour of guest starring in a particularly colourful scene in the soap opera that is Roberta Williams Live. We were filming an interview with the gangland widow at this hotel in Melbourne's Carlton when things turned ugly. Roll the tape. Yeah, I'm not you have into to it. understand. I'm not he into murdered it. people, Roberta. I'm not getting into it. Sorry. Why? I'm not getting into it. You're going to get me really angry. You're going to get me really angry. That's. We just want to ask you a few questions about that. These are reasonable questions to ask, Roberta. I'm going to turn. <laughs> Don't have it. Seven <laughs> questions. Over the years, Roberta has been in and out of court, sporting different hairstyles and fashions. Well, I think back in the day, people cut her a lot of slack. She was a bit of a Lady Macbeth figure here in Melbourne. Investigative reporter and Underworld insider Adam Shand says last month's alleged incident could be Roberta's most serious alleged offence yet. The courts take a very, very dim view of extortion, kidnapping and threats to kill. Uh, and she knows that already because her husband's already been through threats to kill charges. The only reality Roberta needs to worry about now is just how severe the potential punishment will be if she's found guilty. I think Roberta saw this reality TV show as a means of a kind of resurrection. You know, she's bankrupt, she has no means of support, she's still got a family to support herself. Unfortunately, it's all gone pear-shaped. Reporter Reid Butler joins us now from Melbourne Magistrates Court. Reid, Roberta Williams was trying to crowdfund her reality TV show. Does she actually have the $10,000 to post bail? Good evening, Tracy. That is the big question. We know that Roberta has struggled really badly financially in recent years. She's lost her home, she's been renting, and as you mentioned, there was a crowdfunding push to try and raise money for that reality show. They wanted $50,000. All they were able to raise was a paltry $800. Now, she was granted bail a few hours ago here at the Melbourne Magistrates Court, but hasn't left through the roller doors yet, which may indicate that she's having trouble uh, raising the funds to pay that $10,000 surety. She may need to call in some favours, rely on some family and friends if she wants to get out of here tonight and see her youngest child who suffers autism and that's why she was granted bail in the first place so she could care for the child. Reid, by the sound of it she wasn't trying to win any friends today. What happened in court tonight? Yeah, it, it was uh, very fiery indeed, Tracy. Uh, Roberta made a number of outbursts during court proceedings uh, this afternoon. Uh, it got so bad at one point the magistrate actually reprimanded her and threatened to uh, put her back in custody if she didn't uh, calm down and be quiet. Uh, she was uh, alleging that the police uh, were tormenting her and making fun of her over Carl Williams' death. Now, we know that Roberta has a very, very short temper. I know that uh, more than most, uh, Tracy. And that short temper, it was on display uh, during police interviews after her arrest today as well. The court was told late today that Roberta actually uh, made a number of outbursts during those interviews as well. Even at one point, picking up chairs and throwing them around the interview room causing damage. Her own defence team uh, labelled it as, quote, crazy. It was so crazy, in fact, uh, that uh, they actually had to stop the interviews, claiming she was medically unfit to be interviewed, and they put them off. So uh, elongating the process even more, Tracy. OK. Well, she's certainly colourful, that's for sure. Thanks very much, Reid. Reid Butler at Melbourne Magistrates Court.